Next on Enviro Close Up, environmental injustice fought and won in Virginia. Let's talk about what's wrong for people who might not be familiar with this with fracked gas and compressor stations, the impacts of fracking and the impacts of compressor stations. Thank you, Carl. That is an important question. Many people think that frack gas is akin to natural gas, but it isn't. It requires hundreds of proprietary chemicals to drill and fracture the shale to release the gas. And those chemicals are almost all cancer producing and they also include radon that's released from this process. The amount of health impacts at compressor stations are almost equal to that of the well drilling sites. Some of those, they're slightly different, but what they involve is exposing the proximal communities to huge amounts of methane release, toluene, benzene, NOx, carbon dioxide, and at compressor stations, especially the one that was cited for Union Hill, where they're gonna use gas-fired turbines, that exposes the community to PM 2.5 in huge levels. This was actually a point raised by the lawsuit that we brought against the Commonwealth of Virginia and the Air Board that approved the air permit in Union Hill because they wouldn't consider electric turbines, which would produce no PM 2.5. So when the federal US Federal Court of Appeal for the Fourth Circuit heard our arguments and read the existing health conditions that we had uncovered by going door to door to the households near the compressor station were then analyzed by national experts on the health harms, they identified that it had to be considered, that electrical turbines had to be considered, and then the judge's opinion, which was a pioneering opinion, said that you can't just go by what the applicant wants to use, you have to consider alternate sources. So now we have the Mountain Valley pipeline that was approved on the same day as the Atlantic Coast pipeline. And it is still in process. Their uh, developer, EQT Partners, is a notorious uh, developer who has had 300 water violations already in the construction of the Mountain Valley Pipeline, and it's not nearly complete. Those water violations are to people's 100% sources of water and the city of Roanoke. So these are not minor impacts, but they're being passed off by the fat gas industry as natural gas, clean energy, a bridge to renewables, when that is scientifically false. And a lot of the problem about these EJ communities being targeted is the false industry data that is being manipulated both about the communities themselves and also about the health impacts to those communities of frac gas infrastructure.